To that ally garage where we work on Porsches and I break a bunch of my own shit. So as long, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the thumbnail. Uh, at this point, you already know I broke something in my Porsche. Um, smoking. It's I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't know what's wrong with it. I have a suspicion that the turbos went bad. Um, but um, I'm just gonna clean the back of it up before I put it into the shop. It's filled with oil. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at it. I have oil all over. I don't know if it, you can see it through. Yeah. All over the back. So I just want to clean this before you go in. It's been sitting here. Puddle out of the exhaust. Both ends. Bunch of oil in there. It's been dripping. So I left it here for like two hours, it just drips. I'm genu genuinely nervous and upset about this. So I'm gonna put it on the lift. I'm gonna clean it off first, put it on the lift, take a look inside, see what I see. Take the exhaust off of it. Cry a little bit. And then do what we need to do to fix this thing. Uh, this is my daily. I drive this literally every day. Uh, so I'm 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 feeling it already. So I'm gonna clean it, and I'll see you guys at the shop. Shit! They said have better content. You need better content. Yeah, better content is breaking freaking turbos and then costing a million dollars. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I got the car up on the lift, cleaned up some oil. I said I was oil all over this area over here. Uh, I took off the intercooler piping, the front, the small, um, the short ones that go into the intercooler from the turbo on both ends. They those came out clean, no oil in either one of them. So that's a good thing. That means uh, no. Um, it means that uh, going in, going into the intercooler and into the engine no oil came uh, went through the engine I also took off the Y pipe going into the throttle body and also bone dry no oil went into the engine so that's a good thing means if no oil went through that also means that no uh, other contaminants of you know pieces of turbo or something so exhaust still needs to come down I loosened a few things but then you could see I noticed I noticed this bulge, a, a cut here, another cut over there, another bulge. So the way it looks like before even opening it up, that the turbine on this wheel, on this, uh, the, on this turbo, the turbine wheel shot out, broke the shaft or something, broke out and shot. It looks like over here, if you see the marks over here, it looks like it even it shot out while it was spinning and um you know make made cuts on the inside or grooves so hopefully i'm lucky it's just the turbo um we won't know till later but i'm gonna take the downpipe off of this thing or the whole exhaust because the whole exhaust is filled with oil gotta you know clean it in the parts washer and then we will be able to see the back of the turbo see if uh my theory is correct and then we have to start figuring out if we can rebuild it or need to order a new one. 
Yeah. This sucks. Um, all right. Anyways, this is this is the price of uh, you know pushing pushing your toys to the limits. So I'm gonna get on to taking that off, and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. So with the exhaust out, I started cleaning all the parts. You know, in the parts washer, getting all the oil out of it. This is the downpipe. So, um, of course, I can bend this back, I could weld it, so I don't need to get a downpipe at least, or another exhaust. So there's two holes in this, and everything else was fine in the exhaust part of it. Just got to clean it up a little bit more. And now to the interesting part. This is the other side. You could see what you know what it's supposed to look like. I'm supposed to have a turbine over there. It completely fell out exactly how I expected. And then as for the oil, you can see the, the shaft, the, the shaft of the turbine goes through there. So all the oil is basically just leaking straight out into the exhaust rather than getting lubricating the shaft and coming out into the canister and back into the thing, back into the engine. And this is the The other, the other side, it, the compressor wheel. So, I definitely need to buy a turbo for this. I wasn't able to find the turbine, the turbine wheel. So, it had to have flown out of the car. And um, I'm going to go look for it. I'm hoping it's gonna be on the side of the road somewhere, not in the not in the trees. Is that it? Is that it right there? No. I think it should be on this side of the road actually because I was in this lane and the I was in the right lane and also it came out of the right tailpipe no yeah right tailpipe so chances are it's on this side and luckily it's there's a big curb over here so there's a I think it's more likely to be on the curb than somewhere in there but then again, it was probably spinning at who knows how, how much speed. I could probably travel, so. I hope I find it. I'll look, that will look cool in the office. for the part of my turbo 
but I found a different type of turbo snail. <laughs> Find a turtle! Here, turtle! I found a tortoise! I'm gonna call you Turbo! I think I'm gonna keep you. If I can't find my turbo, I'm keeping you. It's a turtle! Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna put him back here for now. I'm gonna come back for you, mister. If I don't find my turbo, I'm gonna keep you. Ha! <laughs> Found a turtle! He's gonna get run over, this little guy. Nah, it shouldn't be this far in the back. Sorry, Turbo. I'm gonna take you instead. Stuck in there, look at him. Cool. Uh, get a better grip of you. Turbo, help me find the find my turbo from yesterday. Actually, should I cross the street? Let's check this side. You never know. I'm gonna have to text my wife soon. <laughs> About some of my shenanigans. I went to look for part of my turbo and I found a turtle instead. back so I took out the turbo actually let's go back here intercooler needs to come off you take off the turbo exhaust needs to come off this is I might do spark plugs actually now that the turbo is off I started taking it apart and cleaning the parts that I'm gonna reuse like the actuator and the oil oil sump a few of the hardware just cleaned up the stuff this stuff has to go back um, as a core. <clears throat> this is, you know, you can see that it got eaten up by the body, but it looks like it happened like instantly. It wasn't like that for a while, for long. Basically, the shaft snapped, and the other, the other portion of it, the turbine, you see that right there just snapped we're missing the turbine on that side and that's it so uh, now we all I got to do is order the turbo and install a stall new turbo we got this turbo we got this turtle Bodie would you leave him the hell alone already hey. all right let me go order this this thing All right, now for the pricing of, uh-huh, my turbo, need the left turbo on the, and it is, how much it, so after I recovered from seeing the price of these turbos, I, that's the end of this video. Um, hopefully next episode we'll have a turbo to throw in, inside there and test it out and make sure that the engine is not damaged. Um, my suspicion is that all the symptoms was from that turbo going bad. Um, the oil, the fire, the loss of power, the smoke, all of that, it all really leads back to that. Um, and that's it. So uh, till next time, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping.
Go for it. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Fuck. 